global properties in partnership with Swami International Half Lounge and Airport Residence Property Housing Estate at the Banjul International Airport. The initiative, which was launched on Saturday, will is the long-standing body of owning a landed property in the tiny West African nation. Mafuji Sese has the details in this report. Pap Seka is the representative of the Minister of Local Government and Lands and expressed delight over the initiative. I mean, as well as the said, um, the support, the encouragement, he and the advice for you to build more estates in this country. I don't want to give a long speech. I do not, in fact, I have to give a speech here. On that note, I thank you so much for your endeavor. Musa Suso, Deputy Governor of the West Coast Region, encouraged the two estate agencies to explore other areas in the region, saying West Coast Region is an ideal location for profitable investment. The launching of airport residency estate here in New Yundum could not have come at a better time and the Governor's Office is highly delighted by such a huge social infrastructural development which no doubt position itself to enhance the growing property demands of the people of New Yundum and those across the whole nation. The governor's office will to encourage the prop IPO, the MD and CEO of Global Properties for such a bold initiative and a vision. You can count on the governor's office for any such initiative Kewa Sise, Director of Land and Survey, assured the public that the, the two estate agencies are reliable and always pay their land rates on time. He said his department is partnering with the two builders because they are engaged in property development, which is concerning land matters. And then uh, I would assure the public that uh, these two institutions are very uh, reliable and prosperous development partners in terms of our housing estate. We all know in this country, housing is becoming a problem in the you know, urban areas because of the majority of the population of, uh, of the country in, uh, live in the urban areas. As a result, housing is a major problem in the urban areas. And these two companies are really providing appropriate and affordable and quality housing to the public. Uh, for that note, uh, I thank them very much for their initiative providing more and more new housing estates within the country. I can assure the public that these two companies are reliable and they have uh, correct documentations in terms of offering you the right uh, title to their land you buy from them. Usman Bojang, Alcalo of Old Yundum, said the initiative will help to ease the difficulty in acquiring housing property in the country as acquiring a landed property and constructing a house of one's choice on its required resources. Mr. Bojan said the initiative will also help to ease those burden in the country. So, but there is time to emphasize the need for real estate development developing in the country, which will help to mitigate the land conflict. Therefore, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome all in my community to best assure that the, the particular estate is also part of a big family of Yundum and you are welcome with open arms. Chief Executive Officer of Global Properties, Saul Fraser, said his institution and Swami India have paved the way in offering estate developed service that never existed in the country before. Starting with the first and famous paradise estate in all Yundum, although the development was 15 years ago, paradise estate is still pegged as one of the most desired neighbors to live in in the Gambia, followed by two most recent sought after areas in the country, namely Paradise View in Salaji and Baraka Estate in Bakote. Both of these developments speak volume in their offers and are top listed estates in the country and were sold out in record times. Owning a landed property in, in the tiny West African nation is one of the most difficult things, almost a dream never to pass. For iAfrica TV, I am Mafuji Sise.